Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today I was going through the website of IKEA and I came through this laptop stand, which is uh, which oh, I don't know what's how to perform, pronounce this, but this looks a uh, pretty decent design. And uh, I wanted to um, model this one inside CAT here uh, with every details of these padding and all inside. So if I over over to my cat here I can see I have already designed it and uh, it's uh, not the exact but you can say the replication is pretty smooth and uh, the top is use I use I made the top uh, transparent so that it can give a glassy look like that all right so let's see how we can quickly model this one inside Katia V5. I will close this for now. And let's start with the part design. You can name the part as laptop stand or something. Okay. The very first sketch that we will do is on YZ plane. Go to sketch. I can go for a center rectangle like this. Give it some dimension 645 and this could be 350. Okay, so this is the overall um, size of the table, and after that, we can go for padding. So we can go for a mid extent of length 275. All right. After that, we can go for another sketch. And to do that, I will select this face and go to sketch. And all I will do is select this one, uh, all the edges, and then go for an offset of maybe around 25, like that. If I measure it from here, you can see this is 25. So yeah. And after that, I can go for a pocket to clear out the space. So I can go up to next or up to last preview. Okay, that's fine. Also, we need to do one more sketch, and to do that, I will go for this face and go to sketch. And to do the side sketch, I will utilize again the rectangle, which is center to center rectangle. And let's say I can draw one rectangle like this and another smaller rectangle like that okay and after that I will be doing the dimension so let's go for constraint so I'll select this and this one go for coincidence from here to here 25 mm from here to here 25 mm Right, that uh, completes the dimension. So I can exit the sketch now and go for another pocket and we'll keep it up to last. You can preview it, and yeah, we have the basic structure for the stand. All right. Now after that, I will do one more sketch. And to do that, I can utilize this face and go for sketching. I'll do the same procedure that we did on the side sketch. So I'll take center rectangle, can one here, and one here. Here, distance between this one and this one. 
could be 25. Okay, that completes the sketch. So I can exit the sketch now and go for another pocket and go for up to last preview. Okay, this is the you can say the skeleton of the table. Now we have to do one more, few more sketches. And to do that, I will select this face, go for a sketch. I can go for zoom to fit. And then select this one, go for offset. And type it in 25 as the distance. From there, we can exit the sketch. And go for a pocket of dimension. 25 mm. Yep. Okay. And then we have to do few more sketches. And to do that, I will select this face, go for a sketch. And I will simply select the projection and project these four edges then exit the sketch and go for a padding all right i'll define the padding as reverse direction 3mm i'll go for more and i'll define the second limit as 1mm can preview it and if I press OK, this should not be upward. In fact, let's change it to minus three and then plus two. Okay. Okay, now that's the right one because uh, the class should not be coming on top of this face, but it should be sitting below this face. So a little bit change in the dimension of the pad. Okay, and after that, let's sketch some support for the glass. And to do that, we can select the back face of this one and go for a sketch. All right. And here, okay, so I can start somewhere around here. And what I will do is I will utilize a axis. And then I will give it a distance from, let's say, this edge, 30. And then we can, let's say, go for a center rectangle, like that. Select this one and this one, go for a coincidence. Also, this could be, let's say, around 20 mm. And this could be around 12 mm. And then I can make it 20 mm. And after that, I'll go for a corner from here to here, say 8 mm. Another corner from here to here, 8 mm. This is the sketch for the support. So I'll select that one. And I can simply mirror it to the other side like that. 
then I can select both of these mirror it to this axis okay I can also do one over at this place so I will start with a center rectangle distance is 20 this is also 20 and then go for a corner of 8 mm another corner over here 8 mm then we can select this and mirror it at the other side alright from here we can exit the sketch and if we see our sketch right now it's nicely sitting all we have to do is give it a pad so let's say I will give it a pad of 3mm and preview it okay that looks nice but I want uh, another uh, soft rubber padding on top of this one so I will change the pad to let's say 8 and then for the second minus 5 so I preview it now that's nice so we have a nice gap of 3mm um, on which we'll do another soft padding for the glass okay and to do that we'll again select this face go for a sketching and all we have to do is select a circle draw a circle over here give it some dimension 15 mm dia and center point from this axis here on 10 and maybe center point from this one around 10 okay And then we can mirror it to the other side and select everything mirror it to the other side I can do one over here also fifteen mm and from here to here that's 10 that's fine from here to here 10 okay, then select it and mirror it this axis from here I can exit and I can go for a pad up to next preview okay we can go for another padding on let's say for the base so if I go for isometric this will be our base this one so we need a soft padding for the base as well if I see my top that's fine so I'll select this face go for sketching and I will do another circle so so draw a circle over here dimension 20 dia from the center to this edge from the center to this edge 
and this is also 12.5 now we can select the circle mirror it this axis select both the circle and mirror it with this axis from here I can exit the sketch and then go for a padding of 5 mm I think that's enough all right so we have a nice padding for the base as well and after that we will give a fillet to the pad so I'll select fillet go for 3 mm I can select 1 2 3 and 4 we have a nice round fillet I can give more fillets to the rubber padding which we have over here so let's say I can go for fillet this time change it to 1 mm can select my feature like this then preview it press ok to confirm so that way we have a nice fillet between the glass and the skeletal of our this thing okay and then what we can do is We can give a fillet to let's say everything so whatever is sharp we can go for a nice fillet so let's go for insert mm, this time I will use auto fillet so go for insert advance and auto fillet I'll say my fillet is 0 0.5 and this is also 0 0.5 I can press preview it will take few seconds to calculate and then press ok and your whole uh, part body will be given a fillet of 0 0.5 now obviously when you are going for auto fillet make sure it's not too much otherwise it will be a bit difficult to calculate for the cat here also now uh, after this what we can do is we can let's say select this one okay select this one right click properties go to graphic and change its transparency right so like that we can see below it also so yeah that's it how you can model this ikea with so laptop stand inside katia v5 i hope you guys like it and if you have any doubts regarding the design process of this one feel free to comment down below and subscribe if you're watching this see you in the next tutorial peace out